for our patients in the COVID-19 pandemic, we didn't have the luxury of time. We knew we needed to act faster. The speed with which the pandemic hit relied on a platform that could work just as fast. And for us, we found that teams really did help us keep up. I first became symptomatic with COVID-19 on Saturday, March 28th. I was able to connect with my doctor on Microsoft Teams, but he's like, it's time. My breathing was getting worse. And that's when they transferred me to the ICU about 36 hours after I was admitted to the hospital. Here I am alone, and my parents are 800 miles away, my son is home alone, and it really became real that I may not survive this. And it was scary. I was asking the doctors, I'm like, can I not go on the vent? Intubation's tough. This is a hard thing for patients to survive. We said, what can we do to keep patients off the ventilator? At that point, we had been able to use Teams, gather some of the data, one of the big things that was popping up is a thing called self-proning. Basically, when we ask patients to lay on their belly. After several weeks of doing our protocol, we were 6% under the national average in terms of mortality. I literally had to think about every single breath that I took. I still had this fear in my head. Was it enough? Curtis was awesome. He had been in the ICU and then he came to our floor when a virtual consultation was being set up, the doctor could just connect to Microsoft Teams in the room. The actual use of Microsoft Teams is tremendously beneficial in my overall care. I was walking him out of the hospital and Mike, the hospital supervisor, grabbed us at the elevator and said, congratulations, you're the 100th COVID patient to be discharged. It was just a great, great moment for us. Since being discharged from the hospital after recovering from COVID, I've actually connected with my care team from St. Luke's Anderson. Hi, Stacey, how you doing? I'm doing well, it's so good to see you. It's great to see him happy and healthy and having this virus behind him. I can definitely attest to the fact that you were a trooper. I feel good. I'm happy to be alive. This is about that one person in front of us. To see the improvement, to see them back living their life, makes you want to do more people are able to connect with their medical team in a virtual environment. That's one of the steps that we've made, which is great.